so today we're going to be creating this look um her hair is completely natural no relaxer this is going to be an invisible genie ponytail from start to finish here's a couple supplies that you guys are going to need let's do this okay so first we're going to start with the heat protectant i always use this heat protectant it is amazing i've been using it for about i want to say six years now i was introduced to it in the first salon i was working with and that was about six years ago and i love this product um it does not weigh the hair down you do not need to use a lot of it um i've had great results no issues with breakage or anything like that so as you can see i'm gonna flat iron her hair her entire head and then we're gonna put it up into a ponytail Make sure your sections are not too big, not too small. You want it to be as flat and sleek as possible. I mean, it's a lot easier depending on the hair density of your client. Um, her hair is pretty thick, so you don't want to go in with really big sections because you want the ponytail to be as flat and slick back as possible. Um, I'm not using any gel because it is water-based and you do not want her hair to revert back to its original state. You do not want to put any water, anything water-based. So you want to make sure you get the hair, like I said, as straight as it can be. So that when you pull it up into a ponytail, it looks amazing. So we're going to speed this up a little bit. I know you guys pretty much got the gist of it. You know this is the first step. Now, if the hair is relaxed, you do not have to do this in-depth flat iron um, because the hair will be straight already. If your hair is relaxed, you can do it wet. You do not have to do it on dry hair. You can do it wet and you can sit under the dryer. You can use gel. There's so many other options. But her hair is natural, so we're going this route. So I'm going to go back in on her edges with this edge iron just to make sure that I got all of her hair along her hairline straight. After you're done flat ironing and getting everything straight, you're going to put everything up into a ponytail. You do not, it's really up to you. Um, I love this genie look, so I'm going to be doing a high ponytail, but it's completely up to you. The ponytail can work wherever you decide to place it, but for this look, we're going to be placing it directly in the center of her head.
So this product is another product I've been using for a very long time. Um, it's also good for when you're braiding hair as well. So we're just gonna do her baby hairs now. Get everything sleek back. You can be as dramatic as you would like to be for the baby hairs. You know, everybody loves them some baby hairs. But you know, you customize on your client or yourself as you like. Now, I want to talk about God to be a little bit because this free spray, I have grown to really love it. I know a lot of people use it for their frontals after putting down their got to be glue, but it's amazing for a lot of other things as well. So after I use the got to be free spray, just to hold her baby hairs and around where I use the edge tamer, I'm going to be putting the mega the mega wrap the mega wrapping strips. Ooh. While I do the rest of her hair. So that by the time I'm done, I can take it out and everything is pretty much dry and in place where I want it to be. I'm taking a little piece of Ken Kalan braiding here for the actual ponytail so that when I wrap around, there's going to be a little bit of an extension at the bottom that does not have her hair in it. When I begin to wrap around, I'm going to use the Salon Pro 30 second glue, but I'm not going to use the glue for the entire ponytail because you do not want to put glue on your client's hair. You do not want to do that. This is more specific for somebody whose hair is longer in length. So as I braid down, when her hair stops, I'm going to have extra braid that does not have her hair in it. So on that extra braid, I'm going to begin to wrap the weaving hair around the braid with the Salon Pro 
30 second glow. I'm just spraying the gossip be again. I told you I love it. Again, to keep the braid in place and firm. It's also very sticky, so where I do not put the Salon Pro, it kind of gives a grip on the tracks. So you do not have to worry about the ponytail unraveling or slipping out or anything like that because you did not put the glue on the actual client's hair. Okay, so as you can see, I'm starting from the bottom. I'm going to begin to wrap the hair around the braid. It can be very tedious at the bottom because the braid is very small. But it's fine. It'll go quick. Also, I have the track doubled. I'm not doing it single. I'm doing it double. That will actually speed up your process, but you have to make sure that you have the hair aligned with one another. You do not want a sloppy ponytail. You do not want it to not come out the way you want it to be. So, you continue to wrap the hair around the ponytail. As I explained to you, I'm wrapping around with the long pro on the King Kalan part of the braid only. Once I get to the part that does not have any braiding hair and well not any braiding hair but her hair is in as well I am not going to use the salon bro you do not really need to use the glue the whole ponytail once you get the bottom secured in place you can wrap the ponytail or you don't you don't even have to use salon pro you can use hairpins as well but it's faster it's easier to do it this way I particularly like to do it this way So now for our wrap around, I'm taking a little bit of hair from the back of the ponytail to wrap around the ponytail to give it height. You can use as much hair as you like. Um, if you want it thicker, that will obviously mean you need to use more hair. If you don't want it as thick or you don't want it as high, you don't have to use as much hair, but I like it to be a little high. so. I'm not using a whole lot of hair, but I'm using enough to give it the height that I want it to be.
So now we're going to be putting the finishing touches on our look. You get any strays, any hairs that are out of place, you get everything together. You can take the mega wrapping strips off of your client or off of your head. By now it should be dry, your baby hair should be laying the way you want them to lay. And your ponytail should be nice and sleek. You can go ahead in with a flat iron just to secure your hair in place around your ponytail if you like. If it's fine, you don't have to do that. There I go with the got to be again. It just, it gives an amazing hold. That's why I love the got to be spray. It holds and it never lets you down. You do not have to use a lot of it. You can use a very little bit to the area or areas that you need it in and it performs. So with the braid that's in the middle of your ponytail, it gives you the ability to, I want to say, put your ponytail however you want it to be. You can bend the braid. It does. You would never know that there's a braid there. You put your ponytail however you want it to be, and it's going to stay there. So I want to point out that it is very inexpensive to do an invisible ponytail. You can get the shortest length hair. As long as you make that braid long, using the King Cologne braid in here, it's gonna fully extend from when you start at the bottom of the ponytail. So this is a 12 inch ponytail. I mean, not a 12 inch ponytail. This is a 12 inch pack of hair. Where I'm starting at the end, it's gonna be 12 inches from the end of the braid from, that you braided from the actual ponytail with your client's hair. So you can get any length and you can make the ponytail as long as you like. Look at the finish, we are all set, almost. You just wanna get any excess strays. Or make sure everything is laying the way you want it to lay and make sure everything is smooth in. And now I've also grown to love this as well. It's Isa Plus Sheen Spray with coconut. It smells amazing. It smells great. I'm big on things that have an amazing smell and I'm like obsessed with coconut. Not to mention coconut is very good for your hair. It's very good for dry hair as well. Um, so I'm just gonna spray the Isa Plus Coconut Sheen to finish. So now on to the lashes. I'm using Ardell Professional Wispy Lashes. It is a strip lash. I'm using Duo Eyelash Glue. It is something that I love. I always use it. My lashes, I wear strips and I also wear mink lashes. But when I do wear the strips for so most of the time, my lashes last me two, maybe even three weeks. I don't know if it's because I'm so used to wearing them, but the Duo Glue, to me, gives the best result. It's long lasting, it does not pull your lashes out. It gives you a invisible finish. You do not wanna see the glue once it dries. So it gives a, a amazing finish. And as you can see on the lashes right now, it's not dry, so you can see it. But you'll see at the end of the video when the lashes are complete that there is no residue. You do not see the lash glue on the lashes or on her eye.
Now we're gonna let these dry. And here's the finished product. The lashes look amazing. There you have it, that is your genie ponytail. It is easy, it is cheap if you're doing it on your own. You can get whatever hair, synthetic. If you, if you wanna use bundles, that's completely up to you, but you do not have to use that. Follow me on Instagram, like the Beauty by Day fan page on Facebook, and I will see you guys soon.